Ahead of Wednesday's Copa del Rey quarterfinal between Granada and Barcelona, a slight earthquake was actually recorded in the city of Granada at 8.35 p.m. while the players were still going through their warm-up. And I can't help but feel like that was a sign of what was to come. Because eight goals and 120 minutes later, Barca caused an eruption as the fighting spirit and the winning mentality that we've been desperately looking for inside of this team, it's finally been awoken, and from here, we must kick off. Welcome here to Talk FCB, and I know we're all still feeling very, very good from Barca's comeback against Granada in the Copa del Rey quarterfinal stage. And it was a really, really important result for so many reasons, with so many big performances out there and real character that we saw from this team. In today's video, we are going to be going over some of those big, big moments that could have a huge impact on the second half of our season. It's all coming up in today's video. Good feelings only, at last. Because indeed, like I say, fantastic for Barca to find a way to win on the brink of elimination from the Copa del Rey. What would have been a big, big upset on the night? Granada was so, so close to getting the job done. But in the end, Barca there reaching their 10th Copa del Rey semi-final in 11 seasons. We really are the kings of the Copa del Rey. And I think, of course, looking at the teams that are left in the tournament right now, we're going to find out who we're going to be facing in the next round in the coming day. And you wouldn't be at all wrong to say that Barca are the clear favourites. And I think we've all seen right now this trophy for some weeks as the one that we can target this season. And it's very much attainable for this Barcelona team. But for me, it's not the fact that we got through here to a Copa del Rey semi-final. It's not just the fact here that, yeah, you know, we can win the Copa del Rey. We beat Granada. All of that stuff. It's good. It's nice. I'm glad that we did it. But that wasn't what stood out to me. It wasn't the fact that we won this game. It was how we we won it. That's what's significant for me right now, because I do really believe, and I genuinely do right now, we needed that. We needed a performance like that. Kuman needed it. The players needed it. And we as fans, we needed it more than anybody. We needed to see that team again capture our belief, capture our confidence, because how nice was it for all of us fans last night to be on the winning side, to be on the team who was doing the comeback and not the team who were letting it slip through their fingers. It was such a nice feeling and it seems like such a long time ago that we experienced that and that's what I mean because after so many setbacks this team has suffered not just this season but looking back on the humiliations this team has suffered over the last few years we've let games slip away and I feel like last night was one of those games that we finally said no Enough is enough. The big players in our team, we're not going to let this happen again. We are not going to allow another game to get away from us. We are going to win whatever it takes. And I think when you combine here this result, the win, another win this year, it's been a fantastic 2021 so far. Barring the Super Copa final, we have won every single game. And that gives us confidence. That gives the players confidence. It gives us fans confidence. You can't put a price on that. Because obviously, you can't just instantly gloss over Roma, Liverpool. Bayern. You can't just forget those happened and suddenly they turn over a new leaf. But what you can do is work to erase those bad habits. Because you think about it right now, next time these players are in that sort of situation, next time they're staring down the barrel of elimination, whether it be in the Copa del Rey, whether it be in a Champions League game, they can build here on positive experiences. They can look back at the time they did make it happen, that they did come back and not the time they didn't. And it's all about here building Building again that character because this team have been knocked down far, far too many times. And that's where I also feel Ronald Koeman, he deserves credit. He deserves real, real credit here because no matter what we've had in terms of results, and of course we still don't know how we're going to get on this season in the league, in the Champions League, all of that is still uncertain. But what he has done and what you can't really get around, what you can't deny is that he has changed the feeling in this team. He has changed the mentality, the attitude going out there, and he's refreshed this team. You look at it right now, we've significantly reduced there the average age of our lineups. We've got players in there who are hungry, players in there who are fighting, and certainly whether we win, whether we
we lose. They are giving everything right now. They are giving their coach everything they've got, and that's all we ask for. Because yes, at times we've made silly mistakes. Yes, at times we've not played well. Yes, at times you could say we're by no means favourite for the competitions that we are in. But we just want to see a team of hearts, team there with desire to win, trying to make it happen. And yesterday, they delivered. And we were so happy with that. And I do want to talk here in particular about one man. Of course, there was other players. There was many, many players yesterday who were really, really impressive. De Jong picking up yet another crucial goal. Messi was at the heart of absolutely everything. He was making things happen. He was really dictating all of our attacks. And of course, players like Pedri, Dembele, who came on and had a real impact. Really, really important stuff from them. And Jordi Alba with his goals. But I want to talk here about Antoine Griezmann. And I want to talk about him because he has been waiting for these kinds moments. You look at it there in the Super Copper final, scored two brilliant goals, appeared in a big final for Barca and it didn't go our way. No fault of his own. He deserved to win that match for us. It didn't quite happen. You look at it last week against Athletic Club. He again scoring the winning goal, arriving in a big moment and week upon week now, this man has been growing, not just in confidence but in stature in this team. Suddenly now, we are starting to look towards Griezmann when we need something. He's appearing when we need him, which is the sign of a big, big Big, important player. And for me yesterday, we saw the Antoine Griezmann of Athletic and Madrid. That's the player that we wanted to sign. That's the player that we hoped would arrive at Barca. And the last few weeks, he simply has been. In his last nine games, Griezmann has scored seven goals and provided six assists. And yesterday, he was absolutely brilliant. And I look in particular at that header. Yes, his assists were absolutely brilliant as well. You look at the last assist to Alba, like I said, in the match review, it was audacious. It was brilliant. But in particular, that header. It deserved to be the winning goal had we not given away the penalty kick, but it's just something there. You whip that ball in, very, very good ball, and then again, you're looking for somebody. You're like, okay, who's going to win us this game? And it's Griezmann. He gets up well, bullet header, what a goal that is, and that's what I mean. That reminded me there of that Atletico Madrid player who was fighting, working, never giving up. That was the kind of attitude that I really hope that he'd bring here, and suddenly now, people are feeding off that too. He's combining so, so well with Messi. I'm so so happy here that he is getting his rewards because he's a player who no matter what you think of him, no matter whether you think he fits, whether you think we overpaid, all of that stuff, he's always given his all. He has always tried to make it work in this team. And I really liked it yesterday when he did the interview after the game there with Frank and Young. Alongside him there, they were both saying how important the win was, how much confidence right now this team is feeling. And De Jong said, Griezmann, he's been so, so key, arriving in those big moments. And there's a really good feeling right now amongst this team. As we said just a few videos ago, go. This is a united group. This is a team pulling in the right direction. We don't know where that's going to take us. We don't know where we're going to end up. But wherever we do, I hope that we enjoy the journey. And I just hope we keep seeing this fight and this will to succeed. And of course, guys, what I really am looking from you is your thoughts in the aftermath now, after you've slept on it, after you've had some time to reflect. I'm sure many of you have watched the game back, watched the goals back. You want to be enjoying those moments and that comeback all over again. So please do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. What did you make of yesterday's win? After now you've had some time to think about it, what are your feelings? Let me know all of that stuff in the comments down below. Of course, there's more videos coming. We've got a big game again in the league on Sunday. That's going to be coming coming against Real Betis. All of that stuff and plenty more to come. Thank you indeed for watching and for joining me in these big moments. This is what we live for. And until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca.